This reading is for Libra. For the month of January, year 2023. Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. This is a general reading. Allah, please remove any negative energy out my environment and myself. Allah, please remove any negative energy from my tarot cards from any previous readings. And also remove any negative energy from my tarot spinner. Allah, please send in 200 angels to assist and guide me through. Anyone out there that's practicing any witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo that you do, I rebuke you in the name of Allah. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke you in the name of Prophet Muhammad Akbar. May peace and blessings be upon him. This is for some Libras, so please don't take it offensive. This is for some Libras. I'm hearing, get a job. Get a job. This is what I'm hearing. Get a job. There is no equal give and take. You will have to work. You're making it hard for your person. I'm hearing you have too much time on your hands. You're just laying around, you're sitting around. Meet your person halfway. You have to also give back. Don't always be a taker. Because I'm hearing if you don't, Allah is going to send your person someone that is wealthy to match them. Okay, I was told to ring the bell to wake you up. Fix your finances, apply yourself. And for other Libras, I'm hearing good job. You passed. So some Libras passed and some Libras didn't pass the test. Those Libras that didn't pass the test of Allah, you came close, but you've gotten lazy. And then the other Libras that passed the test, you cut family members off that was toxic. You cut off people who no longer served you. You were only serving them. The mental manipulation backfired. I'm hearing they're mad that you stopped your player ways and you settled down. Allah, show me the Libras that passed the test. You're in the three of wands. 
Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. The three of wands is waiting for your ships to come in. You also turning your back on certain situations that was no longer healthy. Um, you're setting a new uh, direction in your life, a blueprint, okay? Because for some Libras, um, people looked at you as if you was a visionary and you did certain things correctly. This is why you had to cut some family members and friends go is because they were jealous of you. So some friends, some family members, those that were bringing toxic energy to you, you cut your back. Um, you've also gained some important contacts or this is what you need to do. This is for the Libras that passed their tests. Now some Libras, those Libras that, that passed the test, you are now receiving the Ten of Pentacles. It's because you changed your direction with the Three of Wands. Ten of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And now you're building your investments. Now you're making practical decisions with the Three of Wands, okay, to build your stability. So these are the Libras that are not codependent, okay? Those that have a vision and they're working and they're getting the success, okay? So bravo to you good Libras. Now for the Libras that I am told to talk loud and be boisterous to get up off of their ass and get a job. Five of Pentacles. <sighs> the Five of Pentacles is not having any income unemployment, okay, anxiety, financial frustration, feeling left out in the cold financially. You have to make a change soon. This is a new year. So if you didn't have an income, if you did not work last year and the year before that, you're going to be financially hurt all year round. Show me a lot what this is doing to Libra's person. <clears throat> it's putting your person in the Ten of Swords. Financial burdens. And when it's time for you to have the conversation to talk, to get a job, you think like a victim. But you're forcing your person to bottom out. So Allah, where's the blessing in that? Your person is the blessing. Your person is the ace of pentacles. With the Ten of Swords, Libra, your person is feeling like they're being used for, for finances. I'm hearing gobble, gobble, gobble. Okay, like, literally, you know, like the Pac-Man game? Okay, and it's like the pallets, and the Pac-Man has to eat the pallets. Well, your person is the one that lay out the pallets, okay, and you're gobbling it up. And then there's nothing left for your person. This is greed. And this is putting your person in the five of cups stage. Loss of possessions. Okay. Loss of value of what they are supposed to be doing with their finances. You're holding your person back financially and your person is putting themselves in the five of cups stage trying to carry a grown ass person. And this is gonna come to an end. Allah, show me what's gonna happen 
when you bring a wealthy person to Libra's person. That's the wish fulfillment right there. That's what your person wished. Your person wished that you'd get up off your ass and get a job. So God is going to send somebody that's going to equally financially match your person. And then they're going to be living happily ever after in the Ten of Cups. And where is Libra going to be? The Five of Cups. The same energy where you put your person who is loving and kind and giving to a flaw. Now you're going to be in the Five of Cups. I'm hearing what? Allah, please send Libra 200 angels to stand guard, guide, and protect. Excuse me. Allah, please send me 200 angels to stand guard, guide, and protect me as I open this portal. I do not partner you with my divination, but I ask of you to guide me through so that my readings can be truthful, accurate, and honest. Libra. For the good Libras. I want to get y'all done first for the Libra. Allah, for the Libras that pass the test. You had the motivation. You had the motivation. You whipped yourself back into shape. Okay, you could also have some cancer in your chart or Pisces in your chart. But you whipped yourself back into shape. You said, I would not be a failure. I would not be a bottom feeder. And I will not feed off of anybody else. So you whipped yourself back into shape. With motivation. You're feeling the cooperation now. Damn right. You're feeling the collaboration with the corporation. Bravo, Libras. Mm -hmm. And you feeling good. You sleep good at night because you put in the work. That's what God wanted you to do. Okay? Show me more for Libras, the ones that pass the test. People was trying to um, persuade you, try to change your view, try to distract you. But some Libras said, I'm not to be distracted right now. Yeah, because you was doing invention. You was working on yourself. You was working on your careers and working on your finances. Okay? So now you have good luck. You have good luck. And you have celebration, okay? Oh, that's my neighbor. She getting evicted. So you have the celebration. You have the good luck. Show me more for the Libras that actually put in the work. Yep. People were trying to impress you. <clears throat> okay, you could possibly now starting to be actors, um, performers, being on stage, um, but you're learning impressions. So this could be a job training, okay? But you see, this is why I said you could be acting, you could be, um, you know, in the performing arts, okay? But you're learning, all right? You tore down walls, okay? The walls that you tore down, people doubt you, and you didn't give a damn who doubts you. You did it, okay? And you released everybody that was a burden to you. You packed up and you moved. You moved away because you was tired of the current situation. You was tired of the current events, okay? So you packed up, moved away, and you released. Somebody could be doing an investigation, okay? Or you're going to be having some car trouble or you need to get your vehicle fixed. Now the person for the good Libras, for the ones that played you, cheated on you, had other people, now they're watching you. This person is going to try to come back into your life and persuade you because you know what? 
you made positive changes. So that's a decision that you have to make because you already had put that shit in the box, came to conclusion to get this person out of your life. You put that shit on the shelf and you, you left it in the house apartment that you lived in and moved on. <laughs> okay. So that's a decision that you're going to have to make because this person was hella, hella burdensome. Okay. Like very selfish. Now, for the Libras that need to get a damn job. Yes, Hierophant, okay? You need higher learning. The Hierophant is not also marriage, okay? But it's higher learning, high-tech learning, education, school, okay? Career decisions. It's also doctors. It's doing what you're supposed to be doing, all right? And some of you want to get married or are married, but you are not prepared, Okay, yes, do what I'm talking about. This is a soulmate connection. This could be a, a spiritual marriage here, but you're not prepared, all right? You have this empress here, this emperor or this empress. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the higher thing. Well, this is Taurus energy, it's earth energy. I put it like that, but this is God that brought in a union with the two of cups and this empress here is investing in you, Libra, Piling up this money, helping you out, and they're not getting nothing back. You think God is going to bless a marriage, a union with that type of behavior? No. Why won't this particular Libras get a job? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hey, could have been men in the family that did this. Could have been women in the family that did this. But there's no investment coming to you. There's no investment coming to you because you are not working for it. So you don't earn anything. This is why money comes and goes so fast. You're not earning anything. This emperor or this empress have been taking care of you for so long. And look what you have given back to the emperor or the empress. This is why God is going to remove you and send somebody that can equally match this emperor or empress Okay, financially. Only thing that you can offer this person with the Knight of Cups is the Ace of Wands. Yes, the Ace of Wands is a passionate endeavor. Okay, it's the it's making the impossible possible. It's warm, loving. Family life, it's fertility, it's entrepreneurship. It's a brand new beginning. But the only thing you can offer your person is the wand. When you realize that you are causing stress and anxiety to the emperor or the empress, when you realize this with the nine of swords, it's going to hurt you. It's going to Break your heart. You know why? Because this emperor or empress is going to walk the hell away. Probably already have. And then you're going to be left in your nine of swords energy with the ten of pentacles in reverse. Praying to God. Okay? About you giving me such a beautiful person to help me and I use them. And Allah, what message do you have for this particular Libra? Yeah, eight of wands. You, you was told over and over again. You caused certain delays in your life, okay? And with this regarding finances, your own independence, you caused a lot of um, gaps in your work history. This is communication about this. God has been sending you messages and downloads to get up off your ass. You're going to lose your person. Being stuck. <laughs> and <laughs> being stuck, hangman energy. Suspended in time. You're contradicting yourself. Reckless decisions. The fool in reverse is reckless decisions. You don't even pay your bills. Your emperor or your empress do. So get mad at me. I don't give a damn.
You don't like to talk about work. You change the subject. And this is why God is going to have this emperor or this empress walk away. And when, this, when God tells this emperor or empress to walk away because a relationship is built more on just sex, you can't just offer the emperor or empress the wand. You got to meet the emperor and the empress halfway. Hmm. Allah, what's going to happen to Libra when you send this wealthy person towards the emperor or the empress? Judgment. This is your judgment. You're going to be stuck in the Ten of Wands energy. Asking people for handouts. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Things you're going to be asking family and friends for handouts. Because you're not being a team player. You're not working with your person. It's going to put you in the Five of Cups stage. You're going to have deep, reg deep regrets and losses. But you didn't earn your keep. Three of Swords. This is what you was doing in the past that you healed from. That's what you was going to invest in. This is what you're going to invest. Well, if God takes my person away from me because I don't want to work <laughs> and my emperor or empress actually meets somebody that, you know, has a job and they have a job and they can match finances and pay bills together. Libra would just go back out there and find another person to do it. Ain't that some messed up shit? Isn't that wrong? Mm. I got other options. I got other people that will help me. I got other people that will pay my bills. Go for it. What are these people that Libra saying I got in the background? I can go and find another person to take care of me. Or I can find family or friends that will take care of me. I will have to make that decision. Okay. What will happen to this Libra? Mm -mm. People going to be holding back from you. Oh, yeah. People going to be holding back. Like, uh-uh, I need this. I work for this. Uh-uh, I, I, I ain't got it. There's going to be a lot of arguing and fighting in the mix. Because that's God testing your faith and your ethics. Your way of living. That's going to be bad luck on your part because the people with the three of swords and the lovers that you will go back to or you will find to manipulate or use. Oh, they don't play that. They got people too. You understand? They got people in the background. So you just be a third party. That's the truth with the ace of swords. Mm -hmm. With this ace of swords. There's going to have to be a clear decision to find your career path, okay? And you're going to have to be true and honorable with God, then yourself, okay? Because when you lie to God and say you're going to do something and don't do it, it's harsh. You can sit there and tell yourself all day, I'm going to do it, I'm going to get up and do it, I'm going to do it, and you don't do it. There's there's not the the the... The, the karma isn't that bad because you're lying to yourself. <laughs> but when you say, Allah, I'm going to get up, I'm going to go to school, I'm going to find a job through you, help guide me to it, then God will guide you. And as God is guiding you to your position and you choose not to get up to go, <laughs> then God's going to stomp the hell out of you. God's going to keep you poor. Well, no, I won't say God's going to keep you poor. You're going to keep yourself poor because God wants to give you the eight of pentacles. God wants to give you the eight of pentacles, but you want to stay at the one pentacle. Ooh. A lot of people's going to turn their back on you, Libra. If you don't make this change, you're going to be sitting in this four of cups for a long time. Watching people have good ceremony and good harvest and cars and nice clothes and going out to eat. You're going to be sitting there like, Sal, I don't care. 
So, you're going to be feeling left out in the cold. Financially, financially messed up. Your tower is going to come down. Okay? Your tower is coming down now. But that's where that's what you want. You can't feed off of the emperor or the empress. Because the emperor or the empress is the blessing, the ace of pentacles. Lord, you better get up. The, the empress or the emperor worked hard for what they got. They don't sit around. They don't lay around. They have to work. Now they have to work extra hard because of you. Are you a poverty demon? Is there a poverty demon attached to this Libra? You got the queen of wands here. This queen of wands is going to pack up and go. Going to sneak away. You understand? See, the seven of swords is not only being deceptive and sneaky and running off and lying and all that. It's packing up and taking what she or he can leaving two swords behind. Those two swords is you and your burdens. And this queen of wands knows that you are sneaky too. This queen of wands know about the three of swords, okay? <laughs> and the lovers. They know. They know because it wounded them. It wounded, it hurt the queen of wands before, but now your lazy ass want to wound the empress, the queen of wands, stability by being lazy. You're trying, you're wounding this emperor or empress financially. So there's going to be a huge change and that shit's going to stop. This is a message for you, okay? Five of Pentacles, unemployment, loss of finances, anxiety, stress, okay? Weight gain, weight loss. Friends and family have helped as much as they can and your laziness is making the tower fall. See? The seven of cups. Yes, you got different options, different resources, different ways to make money, but you're in a dark, lazy energy. All these other distractions, video games, um, talking on the phone, um, you know, like just looking at other things that's not bringing you any wealth. You know, it's, 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 it's kind of <sighs> irrational. It's like, who would want to sit there and be you know, sitting on their ass for so long and they have so many resources that they don't want to, they don't want to, they don't want to choose from. So you're reckless. You're, you're showing that you have no structure and this queen of wands, this empress, okay, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Rho, Capricorn, uh, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, we got all the signs. We got all the signs, okay? So now this person is feeling like you ain't never had, you only had a couple of jobs in your life. This is how this person felt. Feel is starting to, your person is starting to feel about you. You had a couple of jobs in your life, and then the rest of the, the time, um, you know, you had people take care of you. This is the this is the assumption that your person is holding within inside. Like, yeah, the Libra only had me about three or four jobs in their life because if you are used to making money, you wouldn't sit on your ass for so long. So there's going to be a conversation about the four of wands, about the stability. okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Huh. About the nine of pentacles because you're supposed to be an emperor. Look how long it took the emperor to come out. I say the emperor or empress because there's an empress on the table. It took you a long time to become this emperor in this relationship, but you're still running, running out of time. When you get a job and you know you are that masculine Libra or feminine, don't matter, you will be financially independent in the relationship, okay? But you see, 
this cup, this this cup back here, that's your person. You could have been offering other people different things, spending your person's money, okay, that they have given to you, all right, and doing things in other relationships. That could be your karma, the reason why you're not working. It's because when your person was giving you money, you were spending it out there with other men or women. So now you don't have any money because your person stopped giving it to you. Your person stopped giving you the money, just possibly pay the bills. That's it. But no money being put in the hand right now. Yeah, because this strength, you have to gain that. You have to gain your strength back to get up off your ass and work so you can get the Ten of Cups. Because this angel is going to bring this Ten of Cups to your person and it's going to be a wealthy man. And they're going to be healing each other financially. They're going to come together and they're going to have a conversation like, yeah, well, I was in a relationship where I had to pay for everything. And then the, the emperor, okay, if you're not at this point of being an emperor, you got an empress and emperor. The empress is going to meet this emperor if it's not you. If you can't ante up, God is going to send this emperor to this empress. And they're going to have a conversation that is similar like the emperor's gonna say yeah i was in a relationship i had to pay for everything the emperor's gonna be like me too <laughs> let's balance our checkbooks together you feel me <laughs> okay and that's gonna crush you that's definitely gonna crush you but it's like when people don't get up off their ass and make their own way, to me, that's a poverty demon. That's a poverty demon. Allah, show me what's going to happen if Libra don't get up and get a job. Yeah. Oh, it requires skills and balance and time. That's, that's your belief. Okay? Which it does. But how long, how many years is it going to take? You're not talking to God about your finances. You're not seeking any higher power. You're not asking God to give you any direction. This is why you 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 have to tough it out now. Yeah, you're in financial stormy weather. Your finances is a dead end right now. You got to choose your words carefully. So somebody's going to be possibly in my comment log talking crap. Oh, I don't care. It is what it is. You don't think being... Independent is a big deal. You don't have no power. Show me more what's going to happen to Libra if Libra don't get up and get a job. Yeah, you're not feeling lucky. You don't want to get up and do it. You don't want to get up and do it. You don't want to move your ass. Damn. Adventure, risk, and reverse. You don't want to take that leap. You don't want to put in the work. So the bomb's going to explode in your face. Yeah, you thought marrying, getting married with entitlements was going to be a wild card, okay? You have to take a look at yourself and realize your decision is bad. You're not marrying this person for love. You're marrying it for finances. You're getting married or in a relationship for finances because you're in the fork in the road. And you think that marrying someone that has, you know, worked hard for many years for their finances is a win-win situation for you. That's a turnoff. Yeah, when you get up off your ass, doors is going to fly open. What I tell you, you can't just keep... You can't, you can't, look at that. You can't, you can't do that. You can't, you can't mend the relationship with the penis or the vagina for money. It has to be 50-50, but it's never 50-50. At least give your person, you know what I'm saying, 20 50, like 50 for, 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 for your person. You know what I'm saying, 20 for you. Okay. You're not even doing that. I hope that made sense. You're running out of time because that passion bullshit is going to die out and your person is going to pack the bags.
pack their bags and gonna go. They're gonna start to look at you as a user, as if you are a snake. And your person is not even gonna let you know when they slide away either. They're gonna call you when wherever they get to where they gotta go. Look, your person is looking at you like you're just a user and a foolish snake and they love the hell out of you. But when are you going to return the favor? Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm hearing that's why I had to cut ties. That's why I had to cut ties with Libra. And the attraction was gone. You didn't you didn't even hear from the person anymore. Some of you were still standing by. Like, what happened? You want to stay in bed because <laughs> you think working and going to school is an obstacle, but you are on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. You know what I'm saying? All of that. You're on social media. So your person's going to say, okay, sera, sera. Share the wealth is in reverse because they're going to have an encounter with someone who has got the same speed and perseverance, if not the same, the similar way of thinking is to work, either work hard and then work smart or work smart and work hard or just work smart, okay? There's gonna be a separation. Cross watchers is probably gonna be like, bullseye, waiting for a tarot reader to say, hey, it's time to get up off your ass, Libra. It's time to work. I'm going to have to do this again. <clears throat> because I got to I got to get I got to put more out there for the good Libras that actually is working. Okay, show me more for Libra. Libra, you're getting financial karma. You got karmic debt. Your person know that you are working against them because you won't work. Jesus came out to verify that. The conversation, when it starts to... Talk about finances. You play innocent. You don't want to hear it. You play innocent because you think the conversation is done. Well, he is for the streets. You're going to go back out there. How do they feel? You, you hate that I know the truth or you hate that your person knows the truth. Okay. Allah is going to leave your ass in the hellfire if you don't get up and work. Which means your lights is going to be shut off. Okay, cable going to be shut off. You know what you want in life and that's your person. But you're not doing anything to match your person. Look, married only for entitlements. You're stuck in the abyss for that. That's a hellfire. Especially if you're a man. I don't give a damn man or woman. You got to work. Don't nobody want an income tax no more, huh? The heavens is saying you're a scumbag for that. Mm-hmm. Yep, some jealous family members use witchcraft. Yep, a karmic woman, play victim, cry me a river, use men for relationship rehopper. So if you are a Libra woman doing this, then you just get on, you find men for finances. That's your karma. Okay, and it came back out. Yeah, I play innocent because I think you're done when it comes to the conversation of working. And you're actually working against a good person. You're actually working against your person. A twin flame connection. Okay, it could be in Troy, New York. Doesn't have to be, but the Troy, New York card fell out. I got to... I got to get more cards with different states and cities, okay? Yeah, I chase karmic holes with mental illness to take care of you. So, yeah, your person don't trust you because of the things that happened in the past. Never go to the doctor. Yep, scumbag came out again, okay? Hate that I know the truth came out again. 
karmic soulmate lesson learned. That's what your person is looking at. Is this is a karmic soulmate. Oh, somebody doesn't have any faith. Who cares? They're never going to change. So they're going to be left alone. Yep. I use you for money. So you use people for money. You get in relationships with people who have money. This is what your person is thinking too. That you're using them for money. And you tell your person, I have faith to change for the better. Your person don't want to hear that. They want you to get a job. Somebody can't stand that you're chosen from God or, you know, so whoever's watching me can't stand that I'm chosen. Okay, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, you're going to be begging underneath Allah's mercy because you're in spiritual imprisonment, obsession with television, porn, social media, and video games. Yep. So what goes around comes around. When you was looking out away from your person and you thought you saw something better, when you disappeared, you was with her and you play innocent because you thought your person was dumb. Well, your person is now, God is telling your person, go, 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 go on. Leave Libra here. I have someone better for you. Or I have a higher position at work. And you can't share your money with Libra. So don't go out with him or her anymore. This is what your God is guiding your person to do. I trick my wife to think I'm not cheating. Wow. Karma for that. Damn. You're in spiritual jail, Libra. I call myself stupid, stupid, stupid because it's easier to call myself stupid than owning up and taking responsibilities of my actions. And then, oh, I really love you. I really love you. No, no, no. What do you love? Do you love the money? Do you love the empress? Do you love the emperor? Because how this is looking, you only love your empress or your emperor because they take care of you. But that, that, that either came to an end or it's going to. Ancestors is here to say that somebody is stalking you. And we got death, Scorpio energy. This could be your person's ancestors stalking you. <laughs> Only thing that you want to do is have sex. So your person's ancestors is stalking you because you're bringing a death to the financial balance, not only here in the physical, but in the spiritual too. Yeah. Everything that you did to your person, your, their, her, his or her ancestors is here. I still talk to him or her. You're going to remain in depression for years without help if you don't make these changes because your person is faithful. The person he, she, you creeping with download texting is in a relationship, third-party lying asshole going to get caught up. So if you're still talking to somebody and the ancestors is out here to tell your person no longer to deal with you because they're, you're causing financial death and you're still talking to an ex-person, then get the finances from the ex-person then and cut your person free. What goes around comes around. This is why God is sending your person somebody that is financial, financially stable. Yeah, it's going to be banging for Allah's mercy. Get it together, Libra. You're too grown for this. Your person is not your mother or your father. <laughs> Get it together. That's all I have for you.